hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do something that I usually don't talk so much about and I'm going to talk about skincare. I love skincare and I usually don't do videos on it. I tried once to do like one skincare video a month. It did hold up for maybe two months but uh, I want to talk about some skincare that I'm using now that I really really love and I'm going to talk about some things that I cleanse my face with, some mask, some moisture, and yeah, just a lot of things. So yeah, I think we just hop into this. And first off, I can say that I have a normal to dry skin. I am 32, so I am starting to use a little bit of anti-aging products. I am really dry in the winter and when it's super like moist outside. I don't have a sensitive skin and I have used skincare with stronger ingredients for a couple of years. So yeah, and I'm also using <laughs> cruelty-free skincare, vegan if I can. I think the most things here are vegan, maybe not all. And yeah. I'm just going to talk about some favorites I have right now and some things that I feel are really good and really worth the money. So I'm going to start with a thing that is not available anymore, at least what I could fi couldn't find. And it is from Podshop. Maybe I should move a little bit so I can show you the products. So yeah, <laughs> the things that is discontinued but that I really really like is this chamomile silky cleansing oil from the body shop. I love the cleansing butter, but this was on sale I think around in their summer sale. They always have a summer sale on body shop and this was on sale and I bought it and I do really really like it. I don't think it is as good as the butter is, but this is so much easier to use than the butter and like scoop it up. Um, so yeah, if you can find this at your body shop, try it. I think it's really good. It doesn't like hurt my eyes, so it's really good to take off your face makeup and also your eye makeup. I only use this when I have used makeup. I don't use this as a cleanser if I haven't have any makeup on. So yeah, this I've really been liking and if you find this on your body shop, I can really recommend it. Then also a toner. I've used this before, but I think it's a new formula on it. And this is from Lumiene. This is their moisturizing toner in Helle. Are you serious? It's the pink one and it is for dry skin. And I think this is really good. I use it in the morning to cleanse my face with it because I have dry skin and I don't need to clean with water in the morning because it dries out my skin a little bit so I use this one and I think this is really good and I can use this on my eyes just to take away like mascara smudges or something if the oil doesn't take everything I don't know though if it's good <laughs> to have it close your eyes but doesn't hurt so yeah I've been really, really liking this and I think I will buy this again when this is empty because this is vegan, it feels, it moisturizes my face and uh, yeah, I think it's really good. Then I have two serums and these serums I use both in the morning. I use one of them more than the other one so I can start with the one I use the most and this is from Budgie. Budgie is a Swedish brand that I think is 100% vegan. They do some hair care and some skin care and I think everything is vegan. But this is the Big City Silky Drops, an anti-pollution face serum. I think this is my fifth bottle, fourth or fifth. I really, really, really love this. It, I don't know if it helps with like anything, like make my face look better, but it really gives me more moisture and I think it's really, really good. And I will buy a new one when this is empty. I don't have that much left. I don't think you can see. Yeah, maybe. I'm down to here. So this I have been really loving. I think it's a really good serum. It's a normal serum, but it does. It feels really, really good. 
and the one that I doesn't use that much just a couple of days per week it's also from Buddy and it's their vitamin C serum and this I use in the mornings and it feels really really good it's not like as hydrating as this one I if I use this too often I feel a little bit dry but vitamin C I really like that <laughs> I'm a skincare nerd so yeah I really like this one but I can't use it too often and I use it like if I want to be a little bit more clearer or just yeah I don't know if it really helps <laughs> but it feels good and yeah, I do like it and then I can talk about two eye creams <laughs> we can go on with the budget this is the double shot caffeine gel eye cream this I use in the morning mainly because it is it has one of these it has like these roller balls so it feels a little bit cool cooling in the morning and I don't know if it helps to depuff my under eyes but it feels really good to have something cold when you're waking up and it's a little bit swollen under your eyes and I don't know how many uses I have left of this not that much I think and I'm thinking about buying this again but I have another eye cream that I want to use before but I could definitely buy this again and I think it it is just so nice to have on in the morning but the one thing I don't like with this it's not moist gives moisture enough to my under eyes area I have talked about this so many times I have like a dry patch on this eye so at night I use a thicker eye cream and I use this from Lumene it's their Nordic Ageless eye cream and this I think this is my third one and this is soon empty as well this is a really thick eye cream and I do really really love this I don't know if it is anti-aging maybe it is maybe it's not but it is really thick and it feels really good and it helps with my dry patch so yeah I like it if it does something to stop the aging a little bit I would happily take it does it do it I don't know but it feels good then I can talk about my favorite the dye of my cream day and night cream and I have never been like oh I have to buy expensive skincare I have not been like that because I feel that there is more budget friendly skincare that does a really good job but my day cream and my night cream especially my night cream is expensive there is so much more expensive skincare than this but for me <laughs> it is really expensive so the one that is not super expensive but kind of expensive I always buy I bought this when it was on sale and this is the Ren global protecting protecting day cream this is my second tube and maybe I've gone through half of it and I will buy this again when this is empty I'm going to buy another one I love this it is enough with moisture without making it feels too much but it's not too little and it sinks in really good and it gives a really nice like glow to my face in the morning I just love this I got this the first one I got in I bought a box from look fantastic with Ren products and this was one of the products and I just fell in love with it and I think it's so so good this is for sensitive skin I don't have sensitive skin but it works amazing for my dry skin I love it so so much and it is really good under makeup and it's just fantastic day cream and I'm going to buy this when this is empty I'm going to buy my third one and okay let's go into the night cream <laughs> I I thought like okay this is not helping but when I have used it for a couple of weeks I really think that I that my skin is a little bit clearer I do have really good skin and I don't have that many problems but I think this has helped me to look a little bit more even and clear and it is from Ulla Henriksen for me this is super expensive I bought this on sale 
it was 30% off, I think. So this is the Ola Henriksen Transform Plus Good Night Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. I, I love this one. This is purple. And it's, it smells, in the beginning I was like, okay, this smells too much. But now I, I kind of like it, but, but it smells, just so you know. But I think it's <laughs> really, really good. And I think it's doing something to my skin. I don't know, but I think it does. And I think that I will buy this again. <laughs> I'd like, okay, I'm a grown up. And I have the money. I don't like to spend that money on a night cream, but I like the night cream and I have the money, so maybe I should just buy it. I don't think this will... I think I will have this for a long time because you don't need much at all. I have used it for four weeks maybe. And then I have two masks, kinda, but not... Okay, we just hop into this. When I sometimes need a little bit more moisture to my face or when I have shaved my face. Yes, I shave my face. I always use this one and I love this one. This is the Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm. This is super thick balm. It melts in your hands and on your face and if I am super dry or I just shave my face and want to calm my face down or in the summer when it's very hot and yeah, I use this and I love this one. I got a little sample in the trend box from Look Fantastic and I was like, do I really need to buy full size when I did use up the sample? And I was like, yeah, I miss it so much. And if I have had a strong face cream, no face cream, <laughs> a strong face mask, I use this to recover the skin and it is just amazing. I love it. First times I was like, okay, this is super thick, but it really feels good and it doesn't feel like... In the morning when you wake up, it doesn't... It has all synced in and it feels really, really good. Another nurturing a cream that I I did use this as a night cream before the Ulla Henriksen. It is Budgie's Sweet Dreams. This is a mango melting mango butter and I do not have that much left so I use this as a night cream and I really do like it. I think I just should use it up so this you can use or you use this as a night cream and you take it off in the morning. And I just feel this is really, really good. It feels... It just gives the moisture I want and it worked super good for me to use it as a night cream. And I used it every night for a long time. That's why I don't have that much left. And I was like, okay, I don't want to run out of this. So I stopped using it, but I think I will start so I can just finish this up. Then I also have a new face scrub. I usually use acids to peel my face, but I wanted something more. So I bought one from Budgie. Yeah, I really like Budgie if you didn't notice this after four products. This is their Sugar Rush and this is sugar scrub but it's not that rough and it smells kind of much but it smells kind of good it's not that rough and you can if you don't want to scrub too much you don't have to because you put this on leave it on for maybe 10 minutes and then you can massage it into your face and then rinse it or you can just rinse it immediately if you want to. And yeah, I've been liking this. It was a long time since I did use a scrub with things in it. A mechanical scrub? Is that the right word? I don't know. And the last thing I want to talk about is a lip thing. This is from Glow Hub. 
I, this brand just went up on H&M and I was like, oh, what is that? So I bought their plumping peptide rescue balm and this is it says that it's plumping for the lips. I don't feel any plumping at all, but it gives moisture to my lips. I used this before work and since I've started to use this in the mornings, I haven't had dry lips. And I've only used it in the mornings. And it keeps on the whole day. And I just <laughs> love this one. I don't care that it doesn't plump my lips, but it gives moisture that keeps up for a full work day. And I love that because I hate to have dry lips. That was all for my current skincare favorites. And I think this will be a routine that I will stick to pretty long. At least the day cream and unfortunately the night cream and the recovery balm and this serum. I love to test out new skincare but I also love to find things that really works super good for my skin and I love all these products and I think I will keep buying the most of them. So I really hope you like this skincare video and have you tried any of these products or do you want to try any of them? I can only talk for myself on what works for me and I have no education whatsoever when it comes to skincare. I just love skincare. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!